It's Gunward time! Welcome back to another Mythic Plus guide. This time we're venturing into the beautiful Court of Stars, one of the two Mythic only dungeons. Well until the new Karazhan comes out that is. This guide will be pretty short as there are only three bosses in here. Let's do it! So after disabling all the necessary beacons, you'll engage Patrol Captain Jerdo. If you aggro him without disabling the beacons, he will call for backup. Okay, so, his main ability is Resonant Slash. This will create lines in front and back of the boss. After a couple of seconds, he will slash those areas, dealing insane damage to anyone stood there and stunning them. He will sometimes spawn an eye, which will target a player and blast them after 3 seconds. You can move from this, so please do. This is important to know because of his lockdown ability. This will root you to the ground and leaves you vulnerable to his other abilities. What you have to do from this is to just jump. That will remove the stacks and you wanna be quick about it. Lastly, when he reaches low HP, he will run over to the middle and drink from his flask. This will increase his uh, damage and haste. A little tip if you have a rogue or an alchemist in the group, they can poison the flask, which leads to the boss just dying instantly when he drinks it. After a little stroll around the city, you will meet Talix Safe Flame Wreath. This boss is a little special in that you can't under no circumstances just aggro her, because you will die. You might have noticed that there are different objects around the area where she is. Also that there are certain mobs marked by a yellow circle on a minimap. This is because one of her abilities is called Fell Covenant. What you need to do is to kill those adds, or if you have a certain profession you can tamper with different objects. This will lure out her henchmen, which you need to kill separately. Anyway, when you finally engage her, she will use Infernal Eruption. This will spawn fire beneath all players and summoning a couple of imps. These imps need to be killed off really quickly or else they're gonna start AoEing everyone. The boss will also use her AoE, dealing some damage, and increasing her fire damage done by 15% for each application. Lastly, she will cast Withering Soul on the tank. This will reduce the tank's HP and movement speed and it stacks up. It is interruptible though, so do that as much as possible. After you're done with the unmasking business, open the door to advisor Melandrus. This is a boss you kinda wanna have a bloodlust ready for, as it is kind of a DPS race. He will dash to a player, dealing some damage, but more importantly, leaving a copy behind of himself. He will summon winds, which you need to move from as they will stun you. But now we come to the more annoying abilities. First up is Piercing Gale. The boss will create a line and then slash towards someone. Keep in mind that his copies will do the same. It's the same with Slicing Maelstrom, which is an unavoidable AoE that is pretty harmless the first time, but when he has summoned quite a lot of copies, this one will really start to hurt you. Worth noting is that in the area with the previous boss, you can gain different buffs depending on your professions. These will carry over to the last boss, so that's always something. That's what you need to know from here. If you enjoyed the guide, be sure to assault the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Gunvor out.